My name is Brandon Lau. I'm an assistant professor of radiology at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, faculty in the Armstrong Institute for Patient Safety and Quality, and co-director of the Johns Hopkins Venous Thromboembolism Collaborative. I think one of the biggest things around improving patient safety in 2024 is understanding what data we currently have, what data we still need to transform into actionable information and measures to identify opportunities to improve care in hospitals. I think that we're relying a lot on quality measures that are set on a national level that might not have to do with actual clinical quality improvement. And I think that we need to be very mindful of the data that we're collecting, the information that we're generating from that data to really present actionable information to improve care quality in hospitals. I'm Sanaz Masumi, Chief Operating Officer at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. 2024 marks the 25th anniversary of the ARIES Human Report. Now we clearly know that practicing evidence-based medicine prevents patient harm. I look forward to our annual summit in September of 2024 to discuss our progress. My name is Najbeddin Meshkati. I'm a professor of engineering and international relations at the University of Southern California. And my research deals with uh, human factors, safety culture, human systems integration in complex safety critical systems. Safety culture plays a very important role in patient safety. Looking forward to our summit in September 2024, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation Summit, to address this issue much more proactively. What we are going to be doing about improving the safety culture based on the lessons that we have from aviation. It goes back to what Hippocrates said thousands of years ago, which is first to no harm. So if we can first do no harm to anyone who walks in, we will get to zero. I hope to see you all at the September World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit. We have wonderful speakers who are coming. We have wonderful updates to provide you. And it's a chance for all of us to recharge, reconnect, and make the commitment for the next year.